My name is Dr. Omoni Yadioye. I'm a member of Cavalry Drama Ministry. I am the CEO of Ogongo TV, a YouTube channel, and I'm also the MD of a Calvary uh, Medical Center. We are on location for four major films. Um, Can I Make It, Checkmate, uh, Eden Sickness, and um, In Love with Prostitutes. Um, Femi Aki today directed um, the first movie, Checkmate. I came on board for the second beat, In Love with Prostitute, and then um, Kayo De Babaola will come for the third beat, Eden Sickness, while I will come for the last beat, uh, Can I Make It? I am Abiola Tenibola Jelabi, and I am playing the role of Sharon in I Am In Love With A Prostitute. My name is Ayo Olale. I play the role of um, GD in the in the film In Love with a Prostitute. My name is Olatunde Omoumi. I'm, I'm a drama minister. I'm on set of In Love with a Prostitute. My name is Peter Kendi Odemi. I'm from Kingsway Evangelical Outreach Ministry, Lagos. I'm part of the production management. Then um, one of the cast in Checkmate, um, one of the gambler. In love with prostitute, um, I'm a medical doctor. I am Isaac Femi Akintunde from Monzion Faith Ministries International. And um, uh, on this um, set, I, I am one of the directors. Um, I directed uh, a, one of the movies, and then the title of the movie is Checkmate. Uh, I'm Tony Investor Sunvenu. Uh, I'm the location manager for this project, uh, production of Ogongo TV. My name is Shesan Falaya. I'm the director of photography for this production for Ogongo TV. My name is uh, Boba Didi Aminola Bidim. I'm the production manager of this um, Ogongo film production. I am Evangelist Shio Oni. On this project, I'm a script supervisor. Okay, Sharon is a prostitute in this uh, movie. Actually, she was from a good background. Her father happens to be a pastor, but she was born with the stereotype life of Christian faith. So she decided that um, she wants to enjoy her life. So when she got admission into the university, she mingled and moved with bad friends. And then she became a leader of one of the courts in the school. She was rusticated. And then along the line, she met a man that actually liked her. Jide, Jide is, the, is the man, is the young man who fell in love with the prostitute. And he shares this, he has this, um, shares this uh, characteristics of um, Christ, you know, um, loving us uh, despite our flaws, okay, taking us out of darkness into his marvelous light. But at a point, you know, uh, we see the parts where um, GD had to prove that he's a man, he's not God. The, the story is full of suspense, is um, full of, you know, is intriguing and then it's 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 full of life. I play the role of Chioma in the movie In Love with a Prostitute. Um, Chioma is just a friend to Sharon. Um, let me say a friend like a sister. Um, she's always there for Sharon. I was told that I'm going to take the role of Sharon and when I read it I saw prostitute. I said wow how am I going to do this? I look at it, you know, 
Many a times when we are playing such a role, being Christian that we are, we want to wear long trousers and then one tall with our makeup and hair. So I was thinking that alone should do. But I am this kind of person that um, I always want to try as much as possible to make the role to come alive. Because acting it alone, you know, does not really um, interpret the role. With costumes, props, some other things added to it, we actually bring out the peculiarity of that role. So when I got there, I was like, ha, prostitute. I acted this several times in the house alone. It wasn't coming. I told myself, when I get to location, maybe I'll be able to do it. I was thinking of going to buy a movie that has, um, you know, the role of a prostitute, or I should just visit some hotel around. But I said, no. If I do that, it means I'm relying on my own idea. I'm relying on my own um, wisdom. I said, Holy Spirit, I want you to, to do it. And I always tell myself, I said, none of me, all of you, God. And to the glory of God, so far, I think Sharon is, is coming out. Sharon is eating it. The story checkmate. Um, that story was written by my son, and uh, when I read the script, I was like, wow. What actually caught my attention in that uh, story uh, was the fact that uh, somebody can live in life a, 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 a very, um, how do I put it, uh, can face a disaster for a whole day if he refused to start the day with Jesus Christ. And that is the storyline. As so a young man that refused to, he was full of activities, calling his girlfriend in the night the, 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 uh, for, his, for her birthday, and uh, <clears throat> working on laptop, doing push-up. He has time for all those things. But he couldn't have time to even mutter, thank you, Jesus or commit his way to the hands of the Lord before he left home. And that day was full of a crisis for him. So I, when I saw that script, I said, wow, this is a message that's supposed to be preached to people of nowadays because uh, we are always so busy. We are busy to, to the extent of we forget God. So that is the storyline, and uh, it, it was wonderful. <laughs> a lot of people have um, challenged me, saying that, why would I like to shoot four movies together? But of course, I, I know and I understand how stressful it would be. But in my own uh, mind, I just feel that I should maximize time and um, resources. The the what is behind it is is just the zeal to make productions and of course you know as a medical practitioner i do not have all the time so i i, I create this month for this production and i want it fulfilled i want it achieved i can't do it alone it is possible because of the kind of people i have with me uh, the member, the members of the crew, uh, they make it possible. Especially my producer, my producer and uh, Taiwo Ayola, uh, gave me the kind of support that um, is so positive that, of course, even if I don't want to do it, um, I will. Where I see a possibility in it. Uh, I receive encouragement also from God. It's, 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 if God does not place it in my mind, there's no way it will occur to me to do it. Dr. Adioye, so he's my boss, he's the one that employed me. When he said, I want you to become my producer, ah, I said to become a producer. I never produced any film my, in my entire life. I never produced any film. He said, I want you to become my producer. I said, ah. In times of uh, COVID-19, you say, yeah, you want me to become your producer. How can I do it? And to the glory of God, I went back to my boss. Maybe you don't know, or why is my boss? He trained me. So I went back to my boss. I said, ah, 
Dr. Adil, he said, ah, I want you to become my producer. He wants me to become his own producer. Ah. He said, uh, Owa said, ah, it's a good idea. You are free to go, but you need to go back to God. If God allow you to go on with it, yeah, you are free to go. But to the glory of God, as I'm here now, God helped me. Yeah, the experience with uh, this uh, location, I mean, with the crew and the cast, they are good people, they are nice working with, you know, sincerity, because uh, it's a great privilege working with people of God, because um, these are what we cannot see in the world. Peace, love, and joy, and a peaceful coexistence between uh, everyone, between the cast and the crew, working together in uh, one spirit, one mind, and um, heading towards a goal that is reaching out to the un uh, unreached. It's a great privilege uh, to work with everyone. The projects, we have a wonderful script with four full-length films and one short film, which God has been helping us since the commencement of this project. Uh, I'm a script supervisor and I have like two assistants working with me. It has been wonderful because uh, I've worked with directors. Of course, the directors of those movies are the people who we are, have relationship and we've worked together with uh, in the industry. So I thank God for their life. And concerning the crew also, there's a good rapport, a good relationship with us. The working ethics, it's, I mean, it's good and encouraging. And we, we are just one big family working together in the same pace for the same goal. So that is, I thank God for that. My relationship with the cast and crew, let me even start with the um, director, is fantastic. He's a very understanding person. You know, he knows what he wants. He gives it to you in a simple manner that you don't even have to go back and ask. I mean, what did you say? Did you say I should do it this way? He's always very direct and very simple. And then with other crew, no problem, you know, sometimes we want to fix sound and want to put the mic and um, the body mic on your on your body. You know, the guy will ask, can I put it? I say, you are free, put it there because um, I believe we are all bre brethren and I don't think there's any special thing there. And then with the other cast, ah, they are fantastic. My relationship with them, in fact, you know, playing the lead role, uh, my clothes are scattered everywhere and before I come back, I will have met it arranged you know, I believe it, it's okay. It's okay. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually impressed. I'm, I'm impressed. The relationship with the cast and the crew is awesome. I, the, the, the way we work together, the cast and the crew, um, understanding between the cast and crew, and then the hard working crew behind the camera and everything is just so perfect i don't know how better to talk about it but it's just so nice uh, it's been wonderful working um here on this location the director um dr omoni has been a wonderful person on set he knows how to get the best out of someone you know at the right time and then the other crew the other crew too have been fantastic uh, i love the team spirit everybody has like everybody's always working together we always want to achieve the best and and i hope and i pray that this um production i i know i am very sure that it's going to come out well i am very sure my relationship with cast and crew on this set oh my god I won't lie to you, it was fantastic. Very, very fantastic because we work, we work like brothers. I, I did not present myself as a, they always see daddy in me. But to me, uh, I am like one of them. 
So, and that is the uh, uh, that's the way we work together. Uh, and uh, that does not mean that uh, they will now overstep their boundaries in their relationship to me. The 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 respect is still there, and uh, but there's this chemistry that kept us together. We're working together, flowing together, and uh, it was wonderful. We we really enjoy ourselves our, ourselves in this uh, on this set. We really really enjoy ourselves because uh, um, those people they are wonderful people. Yes, it has been wonderful throughout the locations. God has been helping us. In fact, working with the, the three directors has been wonderful. Daddy, Isaac Femi Akitunde, Dr. Adio Yomoni, K-Babs. In fact, I really appreciate God for the life of the producer. Even though there are times that we, we don't agree on things, but at the end of the day, we are able to achieve this project. The little things I have to say about the relationship with the cast and the crew. They are fantastic. You know, when you are working with people that have it in mind to support your vision, you know, uh, you can't call anybody on a location without having a tangible relationship with the person. It's not possible. Anybody cannot just come to the location because they are shooting out there. You know, relationship with the cast, cast and the crew is very superb you know they are wonderful people my experience so far as far as this location is concerned we are on the third production uh, so far so good we have a good time working together with everybody and shooting here with these directors is not the first time the person that directed the first film the person that directed the second and the third one which is uh, dr adioye now so we have been working together before now so working with them is not really a problem uh, so so far so good i will say that the experience has been nice and very except for a few location challenges that is inevitable um, but with the help of god on our side we have been able to to get over it and go on with the shooting so far about our cast and our crew they are doing excellently well for example we have about three days for check meet and we use about two days because the cast and the crew they cooperate with each other and they work to achieve that instead of using three days we are using two days and we have a day free then the other one too that we are doing the cast or the crew they are up and doing and they are doing well excellently we really want to, i really want to thank god for their life well um, the challenges uh, is not much because um, it's not my first time of playing the lead role although you know in terms of um, physical um, you know we have to use your body okay there's a place where Sharon fainted and I think at that point when I went down I hit my head but it's just one of those things. Then with the cast, we are all good, you know, we are brethren. So we treat ourselves as sisters and brothers. So far, I don't think there's any special thing. There's no challenges that does not, I mean, that's not, okay, that is not peculiar. It's not peculiar to this um, location. What I'm trying to say is, it's is, is, is what you see around when you go to location. So it's nothing special about it anyway. That's what I mean to say. Uh, to the glory of God, I happen to be the only person that sourced for the locations for this project. And it has not been easy at all. You know, we are shooting four films and we there are, there are set locations that we need. In fact, even the base, it was a tug of war a day to the production. On the day of arrival, 
the place we were supposed to use, the owner said, no, I have to be running at Asketa again. But to the glory of God, the man later changed his mind and called that, please, you are free to go ahead. In fact, it was like as if, hey, I will, I want a jackpot. So I just give glory to God. To the glory of God, God has been helping me to source for location for people on camp because I I reside on camp. So and it has been it has been great. And really, I really appreciate people on camp. They are ready to give their houses, the offices, anywhere, talk of anywhere in camp. God has been helping us. Of course, if anything is going on uh, smoothly, there will be one or two ways uh, that there might be challenges. Yes, there are challenges. But the Bible says we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimonies. We faced one or two challenges during the course of the production, but we bless God for the success of this production because he has really helped us. His blood and you know perhaps through faith we overcome and we are good we think you can see the production has ended and uh, we bless god for the success of it looking at the monetary aspect are we looking at um, uh, the to and fro traveling from one place to the other cast are coming from um, lagos hello hello where are you ah, i'm at my bro hold up ah, no. you know those are challenges from Ibadan, from uh, Mogun State, and all that, from every part of uh, the country, we bless God. I mean, about the challenges on this location is, uh, I'm the kind of person that pay attention to details when it comes to filmmaking. So all of these things, when putting them into consideration, some other people that you are working together with may not understand what you have in mind or what you actually want to, what you really want to achieve. So the best thing is for you to be, we take it easy with everybody, whether they get it or not, so that by the time you finish what you want to do, they will be able to come to the realization that, okay, so this is what this person is trying to say. Like, take for instance, my experience with the, the, um, the set man, though this is not the first time we are working together, the other one that we have worked together before was on a set of an epic film which does not involve all of this uh, modern life. So for me to uh, be suggesting something, some set people, they will see it as, ah, this, voila, this man's voila is too much. Why, why must he be pushing us here and there? But it, me, I'm, I used to be very concerned about, apart from the cast, about the, about the character that is playing a particular role, what is around, which is the background and all of these things. I need to put them in, in a very tight way so that it will be appealing to the viewer. So, so, so far so good, I would say that my experience on this location has been awesome. Working with everybody, seeing some old friends and all of us together. So, thank you very much. I enjoy working with them. Some, somebody was talking about creativity. Who is the author of creativity? It is God. In this production, God's presence is felt beside us. Because as a matter of fact, uh, a whole production was shot without stress. We are on the second beat, there's no stress. The achievement that we have is so amazing that we cannot explain it. God has given us speed, a good speed for that matter. God is favoring us with weather and the cast and the crew member are cooperative. We are enjoying it. It's just like uh, we are playing. So I, I'm enjoying it. God is favoring us. All the crew member, <clears throat> the, the welfare department, the, the makeup, the, the set, the sign, the set the designer, everybody, the, the continuity, the light man, the DP and the second unit cameraman, the directors, they are all fantastic. They are all fantastic. They are down to heart and I respect them. I give glory to God for all this. Because it is God from the beginning, and I still see Him. Glory be to God. Ogongo TV and the um, who how, how will I will I address Him? And the uh, I don't know how to. 
I, I, whether to call him the president of Ogogo TV or the convener of this uh, vision. But uh, what I want to say is that uh, that man, Adil Yomoni, is a wonderful person, honestly. Aside that, me, I always see this work that we are doing, I, I always see it as the work of God, irrespective of uh, what background or what ministry you are coming from. It's still the work of God, and we have to do it accordingly. Aside that, the person involved is a very nice person. He is a man of vision that knows that knows where he's going. I mean, because if you don't know where you are going, nobody will follow you. <laughs> this man knows where he's going. And when he told me about this production, I was like, wow. <laughs> it was first six movies, but because of some certain things, um, unknown to us all, so we reduced it to uh, four. Then we will continue next year by the grace of course. I was supposed to even direct two movies together, but because of one reason or the other, so uh, the other one will be will be done next year by the grace of God. So uh, our relationship with uh, Ogungo TV with Dr. Omoni Adil Omoni is a cordial one, very very cordial because uh, he's a man of vision, he's a man that knows where he's going, and that is why. Uh, he can call us that uh, let's do this thing together and uh, we will all just gather to do it because it's, it is even the work of God. Yeah. The first director, which is evangelist Isaac Femi Akitude, is a lively man and he carries everybody along. He's a director that anyone would like to work with. And the second person, is Dr. Adil Yomoni, the executive producer of the production. Dr. Adil Yomoni, you too, is a director that everyone would like to work with. Gentle, easygoing guy. Then put you through. He will take his time to make sure you put on the character that you want that you you will interpret your role very well. Kebabs is another good director. This is the first time I'm working with Kebabs, but I want to thank God for the grace of God over his life. He directs well and he carry all the cast and the crew along. Um, Ogongo TV is a YouTube channel that God made us to create about 19 months ago. Um, it came because of um, some desire. One, desire to reach more people and spread the good news to them about what we do. And then two, desire to support gospel filmmakers. And uh, which, since we have been monetized, which we have been fulfilling gradually. Everybody knows that working on YouTube is not an easy task, but God made it easy for us. To the glory of God, Ogongo TV is progressing. Everybody is making it to work out, including you. And I appreciate you all. So. In fact, when you ask, where do you see Ogogo TV in the next five, ten years? I started having goose pimples, and the reason is because, in fact, I'm not even projecting that five years. Where, what I'm saying, I, I, see, I see it within these few years. I'm, I'm saying one, two, three years. Wow. Ogogo TV will have blown to the world. God, I know that God has a special place that he has prepared for Ogongo TV, and I see it going in there. 
I see the mercy of God achieving all. In the next three years, Ogogo TV will have been known all over the world. And then it will not be it will be going, it will be so higher and higher and higher and will never come down. So I see Ogongo TV going very, very far, farther than any one of us could think. Yeah, Ogongo TV is, is God's idea and it's God's plan for this uh, generation and especially in the Christian uh, film circle. All right, and so I believe I believe in what God is doing with Ogongo TV, and uh, through Ogongo TV, it's a channel that everyone needs to subscribe to, and watch Christian films with godly content. You can trust whatever you watch on the on the in the channel. All right, it's it's a channel you can. Um, you can subscribe to and you can encourage your children to watch all right so it's uh, that is what it is and then seeing Og ogongo tv um I, I see ogongo tv becoming larger than what it is now i see god taking it to the top all right i see it becoming a a, a mightier channel okay that the whole world will subscribe to and uh, trusting the channel to give us more godly content. Yeah, Ogongo TV is the platform uh, upon which some of the, some of our package, some of our productions will be introduced or sent to the outer world. And I see it as a, a, a new dimension. In, in Christian drama, in Christian film production or Christian film ministry. Whereas before, before now, we are, we are used to this uh, marketing, okay, take your film to Idumata, how will you, okay, producer will be running after the marketer. But in this case, you from you producer, you'll be able to send your, your, your production to your audience. So Ogongo is doing a very great work and I really, really appreciate my brother, uh, Dr. Mani Yadioye, for introducing, for coming up with this kind of idea. We don't have a gospel uh, type of this before now. We have individuals that have YouTube, whatever, but for us to make it general like Iroko, Ibaka, and some other platform, and I'm praying that very soon it will be like Netflix, where people will come and subscribe, buy, and do all of this. And that they will have access, even from the comfort of their home, to watch any gospel film that they want to watch. So Ogongo TV, they are doing a very great. They are, and they are being part of them, even from the onset, when the program, I mean, the concept is being coming up. So I know virtually everybody in Ogongo. So working together with them, it's been awesome as well. So. Uh, and I want to use this opportunity to appreciate the gospel news that they are doing a very wonderful work. Some of the film, even if you don't want to know about it, they are going to be the ones to tell you about the, the film, the upcoming film on the platform of Ogungo TV. So they too, they are doing a very wonderful thing. So I want to encourage everybody to let us join hands, let us join hands together. To, to fight this battle. It's not actually a battle, but let us just do this thing and win our word for our God. Ogongo TV is a great vision. Thank God uh, the convener and the executive producer of Ogongo TV is my friend, our brother, and um, we've been together for more than a decade now, and then um, I see the spirit of excellence in him, in anything he aspire or God has laid in his heart to do. So I see Ogungu beyond now. In fact, generations to come, if God starries, we, we see this, the Ogungu has become a brand now. It has become a brand which is beyond we that are operating with Ogungu presently. It's beyond now. I see Ogungu beyond now in this generation. And I pray that God will continue to help and promote his work 
through them in Jesus name. Ogongo TV. <laughs> we have a lot of things in plan. I said a lot of things. Are you getting me? A lot of things in plan. I, I started working with them three months ago. Uh, if, you, if you go to our YouTube channel, you will see that there is a program called One on One with the Champion. And another one is coming. Kini Yorubanwi. Kini Yorubanwi. Also, we also have medical tips. Are you getting me? Ah. <laughs> we also have uh, medical tips on Ogogo TV. So, and many more. And many more. So, if you have not subscribed, you can help us. You can help us. Just go to on our YouTube channel, type uh Ogongo tv then subscribe and cl also click on notification bell so that whenever we upload a new content you will be able to see it Ogongo tv thank god for Ogongo tv is one of the leading tv in the social media world in the christian drama i see Ogongo tv on the top yes coming i see Ogongo tv greater heights so Ogongo TV is moving, it's moving, it's not static. And uh, to the glory of God, Ogongo TV will continue to move and move and move till Jesus Christ comes. So I want to plead that you should please subscribe to Ogongo TV. It is free. Do remember to click on the notification bell so that anytime we put our fantastic content, you'll be aware. My name is Isaac Femi Akitunde um, from Monzan Faith Ministries International. And uh, I am a director to the glory of God, a producer, a writer. Mm. So I want you to continue watching Gospel Film News TV on YouTube channel. I am Abiola Tenigbola Ochelabi. Um, I am an actress, a writer, a producer, a director. Keep watching Gospel Film News TV and keep pressing the subscribe button. Thank you.